All right. Well, we're going to demonstrate today a little bit on what it takes to open up a six volt bell housing to accept a 12 volt flywheel. So most everyone in the industry uh, has done this from one time or another because they have taken an old Volkswagen and that would mean in the 50s up to 1966 and that would be six volt and that means it's a hundred uh, and nine tooth flywheel and a 12 volt flywheel is 132 teeth. So the six volt takes 180 millimeter clutch and pressure plate and the 12 volt takes 200 millimeter clutch and pressure plate. So if you took your old transmission and you pulled your motor out and now your tranny's there and now you want to upgrade your engine from the old 40 horse to a uh, 1600 dual port it'll bolt right up to the accessory mount holes no problem the output shaft the splines are identical from 6 volt to 12 volt the only thing different is the flywheel diameter is bigger so when you go to put it in it just won't fit so our demonstration today is to show you how simple it is and uh, we made a couple of tools. Um, one is a tool that we use because we will probably end up doing this way uh, more often than what you guys would. Um, but since we do it for our customer base, uh, we have made a different tool. And then we made a generic tool to show you how easy it is to do uh, something uh, just for you. Uh, because you don't have to spend a lot of money trying to make a special tool. So we show you the basics. Does that make sense so far? And if you have any questions, just raise your hand and we'll stop and we'll try to answer that as we continue on. Um, what I'll show you is uh, we're going to take the 12 volt flywheel and Chris is going to assist us today and uh, he'll set it up in there and uh, we're going to show you where it grinds. So if you can't see from where you're sitting, um, once we grind on this a little bit, you're welcome to walk up in here and then we can show you what we do and how we do it. Sound good? So we'll get started if you want to set up the first stage. <clears throat> now, turn turn around first. This is a tool that you can do. On the back side, we just took all thread and uh, just put some fuel holes on it so it wasn't sharp on your hand and uh, screwed it in the back of the flywheel. And then we just take a clutch and a pressure plate that you're going to need anyway if you're switching it over from 6 volt to 12 volt. And so we bolt it on there because you need that spline to be centered in the middle of the flywheel so that you're centered in here and that's the guide. Otherwise, it'll be impossible to hold that. So Chris will go ahead and start to install that and right away it's going to hit and he's not going to get very far. And then he's going to hold on to the handles and he's going to be able to twist it and turn it and it's going to make marks on the inside then he'll know where to grind and then we'll grind it and then we're going to take some spray paint and paint it black again so we'll know when he does it again exactly each time it gives us a guide so we'll go for the so as you can see Nothing to it, he's just holding on to it, and he's just turning it back and forth so that it makes a good mark on the inside of the bell housing. And if anybody wants to come up and really take a close look, you can see exactly where it's hitting. So we know exactly where to grind. 
and we have just a regular die grinder and uh, the cutter you want to use for this you'll have, need to make sure that it'll cut aluminum if the arbor bit is for steel it'll fill right up so make sure that you get an arbor bit that's for aluminum the teeth are going to be quite large and the key is to cut slow the faster that this turns the more heat it develops and the heat will clog up the cutter so going a little bit slow and taking your time is the key so go ahead and grinder <laughs> All right, he got a good cut on that, and we'll blow it out. Then we'll hit those spots with some spray paint again, so when he starts to put the flywheel back in there, we'll know exactly where we need to grind again. So again, there's nothing really difficult at all about doing this. It's very simple, and you can do it with the tools that you have right at your house because as I said earlier you're going to need a uh, 200 millimeter clutch and pressure plate and the flywheel anyway so it's not like you're buying something um, additional you have to do that to convert it over so he'll put that back in there and turn it again and we'll see where we're at And that's the process that has to continue. He'll blow it out again. As you can tell, when he's grinding, it's always a really good idea to keep your mouth shut. Uh, otherwise, unless you're into heavy, heavy metal. Young guys, they like heavy metal, so. He'll spray it again. And we just keep repeating the process. And we keep getting deeper and deeper and deeper each time. And as we continue, it will accept the bigger flywheel. 
Does that make sense? Does anybody have any questions? It's pretty simple. Yes, sir. What about the, the starter? What do you do about that? Okay, good question. He's asking what, uh, what about the starter? What do we have to do? Well, there's a couple of things that you can do. Uh, the starter, you can keep the old six volt starter if you want to. Uh, it will mesh with the flywheel and uh, it cranks super fast. Uh, as, uh, for as long as you have it in a crank position, the bindings in the old six volt starter are so big that it won't burn up, it's not gonna smoke, no nothing, it just cranks the engine over super fast. Some guys just choose to do that. I don't really recommend that. I would say to go ahead and switch it over to a 12 volt. Now, the difference is, is the bushing. There is a conversion bushing that you can get right from Men America's uh, catalog or on their website. And the bushing is a conversion, so it means that it's got to be bigger on the outside diameter to fit the old six volt starter, but real small on the inside diameter to accept the 12 volt uh, shaft on the end of the of the the bindings on the on the starter. So, pretty simple, but a very good question. Any other question? Yes, sir. How many thousands are you looking between the clearance? Um, I would say at least six thousandths, six to ten thousandths. Uh, you don't, I mean, you know, that's the whole purpose of mounting the clutch and pressure plate on that so that that's centered up and that's going to slide on the spline. So as soon as it turns free in there, uh, you have enough clearance. So if you have a little less or a little more, doesn't that's not real critical. The critical part is to make sure that it's clear. Now, I've had an old timer one time, <laughs> a long time ago. He says, well, you know how I do it? He says, I get the motor started, and then I just kind of push it in there as it's going. And he says, it works like a lathe. And I don't recommend doing that at all, but uh, that's the way he said he did it. So any other questions? How many people here have an old bug, it would be 1966 or older, that still is six volt? Okay, so if you ever wanna convert it to 12 volt, you'll definitely need to do this. You can keep your old six volt transmission, but you're gonna have to open that up and then obviously get a 12 volt battery. You need to change all your light bulbs and the armature in your wiper blade. Um, again, MidAmerica will have the conversion armature in their website that'll take you from uh, six volt to 12 volt. Pretty simple. Yes, sir? If you use the, continue to use the six volt starter, do you have to change the gear on the starter? No. No, you don't have to. That's what I'm saying. It will mesh. Um, it does work. It just cranks it over really super fast. Yep, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You would think that it would, but it doesn't. It will mesh. Um, my wife, right here, Terry, the beautiful young lady right up front here, I told her I wouldn't mention her. Uh, that's just her initials is Terry. <laughs> she drives a 1960 Bug as a daily driver, still has a uh, 40 horse in it, and uh, we converted it over to 12 volt. So when you get in, the actual starter turns the engine faster to get it start, and then the, the motor slows down to run. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. So you can hear it when it when it starts. It's very unique. You you get used to what a real 12 volt sounds like, and then you know when it's a 12 volt system on a six volt uh, starter. So, any other questions? All right.